Hello there, seven play students. Congratulations for finishing level five. And now you are on level six. Wow, this is amazing. We really got a long, long way, long way of efforts and you really did your best as you reached this level. And now we're excited to discuss more of the advanced songs. And this time we will go for the first song. And amazingly, we are reviewing our level three songs. Yes, we are reviewing them, but this time we are putting a twist or we're upgrading your level three songs. This time, our, our simple chords will become, will become advanced, okay? And this time, this time also we'll be able to play Our God where your height end, instead of playing just chords, it will sing, it will play the melody of the song. Wow, that would be amazing. And uh, I'll give you the instructions on how to get them. First is the major scale. As, as you see on the theory video, you got the major scale. And remember your theory there, you've got root, WWH, triple W, and then H. So again, uh, if, if, if we review that one, uh, okay, I'll just try to type in so that uh, you'd also see the, the graphics here. So if, if you remember the pattern on the theory video, it's root, W, W, and then H. I got W, W, and then H. Uh, root, yeah, we, we, we call this root. Okay, I'll try to make this bigger so that uh, you can see this one. So remember this formula. Just remember this formula, the two W's H, three W's and then H. So if we apply that on our piano concept, uh, for, for the song, Our God, you've got, that's the major scale pattern, right? So you've got your B, let's have B as our root. Then we got W whole step root w whole step another w so we will get the do re mi fa sol la ti the sound of b major scale b root w w and then h is e w w w h you will know if you get it right or wrong because you will have b and you will start with b and end with b so again you got b root w w h w W, W, H. And you also know because it sounds do, re, mi, fa, so, la, tinda. So, ah, sorry, sorry. That's your major scale. Now, just focus on those letters. Don't go with other letters because there you will find the melody of the song. Yeah, so that's your first project for this song. You need to get the melody of the song. So, I'll give you the first hint. Uh, again, let's focus on these letters. Don't go away from them because if you go with others, it will sound not correct. So only, only on these letters, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, just these letters and you'll be good to go. So I'll give you the first hint of the melody of water you turn into wine. So yes, uh, you will be opening the link on YouTube and you'll get to this link. So again, if you get the melody, you can always use the slow down speed pattern. You could go 0 0.5 to get the detail of the melody. So example, if I'll try to apply this here on our uh, YouTube video, I'll try to go 0 0.5. All right, let's try if we go 0 0.5. Now we listen to the melody. Let's try to check. Let's get the water you turn. Initially, I'll give you the idea of the sound. It goes, water you turn, uh, water you turn. That's the sound. Again, focus on the scale. Water you turn into wine. So focus on those letters and then you get this one. This is your first hint. Water you turn into wine. That's B, A sharp, G sharp, B into wine. 
water you turn into wine so for you to uh if if you can memorize that would be great but if you want to write this down that would be nice this is how we do it you go to let's let's go to google or you google the lyrics let's say our god lyrics and you get that and you copy this copy the lyrics of the song and if you got it on your ipad yeah you can copy it on notepad or or wherever you want to copy and if you are on laptop or on mac you copy the lyrics and here's how we are going to do this so that you could have the details of uh, your melody let's do some spaces okay for water the wa is uh, the wa is b and then ter is uh, A sharp. So water, water, and then U is G sharp. U, and then turn. Uh, sorry, and then in two. So into is still B. Wine is also B. So you can do this and continue with the others. Water you turn into wine. So you could get the right letters on the right syllable. So again, that's uh, water you turn into wine. Now you continue with the other letters. That will be your task. While uh, you, you, well, you get the one and then you finish the others and then we will integrate that with the chords later. Okay, and then you will explore how you do your chords. So uh, example, if you follow the chords on the verse, for intro, you just do the intro. And uh, for, for the verse, we will integrate melody. But before that, we will apply advanced chords. Now, this is how you get your advanced chords. I'll type in again so that you'll see how we do this one. Remember this one. Remember the patterns for your chords. For the family chords, okay, the step is to get the major scale first. So now you get your major scale on B, C sharp, D sharp, because B is our root, E, and then F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and B. That's your major scale. Now, how do we get your family chords? Simple. Just get the first six, first six of your major scale, and you put it here on your family chords. And remember this one. Major chords will be for the first, the fourth, and the fifth. So that's this one, first, second, third, and this is the fourth and the fifth. So meaning we don't touch them. The symbols are the same. But now the minor chords, we get to the second, the third, and the sixth. So having, uh, we, we got the six now. What we'll do is we got B here, the first. The second will be minor. Third will be minor. And the sixth will be minor. So this is how you get Okay, I'll just try to change the color so that you'll know that this is our family chords. Okay, now let's try to advance your chords. Okay, so remember this picture. Major scale, family chords, you get the first six, and these are the substitutes. Now, uh, we absorb this one. Let's get the advanced chords so that you'll see how it's done. So to get the advanced chords, we still apply the family chords, but this time we'll do this one advanced. We'll still apply the family chords, and this time we will apply this, okay? We will have major ninths for one and four. That we got, we will, we will integrate ninth chords on the second, and the sixth, okay? 
So what we will do here on B, it becomes B major 9 because it's the first. And the fourth now will become major 9. The second will be 9 as we integrate it with 9 and the sixth. And the third, okay, uh, it will be seventh. Okay, uh, no, 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 I, I could, wait, wait, wait. We will use the one, we will do seven on the third chord. And we will just go add nine on the fifth chord. So we are, we're, we're applying the previous concept, B major nine, the first and the fourth, that's why we got this one. Okay, I'll change the letters so that uh, it would be understood that we are on the advanced chords this time. So again, we got from family chords and advanced chords now, we got B major nine and the E major nine for the first and the fourth. We go nine on the second and the sixth. That's why we got C major nine, C sharp minor nine and G sharp minor nine. For the third, we go seven. So this is the third. And for the fifth, we just go add nine. Add nine, we'll have no seven. Okay, add nine, we'll have no seven. So these are your advanced chords. This is the first, second, the third, the fourth, fifth, and the sixth. So take note of these advanced chords. This will be your chords for the song Our God. Instead of doing the regular chords, we will do this one. We will substitute the basic family chords with your advanced chords. So remember this. Whenever you, whenever you see C sharp, you will play C sharp minor 9. D sharp minor will become D sharp minor 7. E becomes E major 9. F sharp becomes F sharp add 9. G sharp minor becomes G sharp minor 9. Okay, so we'll try to substitute those chords. Let's see uh, how we can do this one on your song. Huh? Let's try. I'll, I'll try to make this smaller. Okay. So here's how we do it. And then this will be your substitutes for the song. So G sharp minor becomes G sharp minor nine. Wait, I'll just try to make it a little smaller. Yes. So G sharp minor becomes G sharp minor seven and then at nine. Sounds nice, huh? G sharp minor nine and E major nine for E. B major nine for B. Okay. And then F sharp will be F sharp and then just add nine. Okay. And then C sharp minor, seven and then nine. Okay. So we will try to play the song. First, try to explore by playing the song. Uh, the, the process is that you play along with the song with advanced chords first. So you go. Uh, and we could apply the patterns on level five. Like let's say uh, we go water, it turn, and then we go alternate. Oh yeah, level four or the level five is uh, uh, we go stretch. We could go stretch. You will combine those. So you try to explore. So, or you can just do like, let's try applying level four. Huh? Uh, okay, so you go. And we go again. You go again. Yeah. And then the challenge now, okay, here's the thing. Whenever you play this on a level six way, we will do with the melody. Whenever you do melody, your left hand will just go simple. Okay, your left hand will just go simple. 
But whenever there's a free time, you'll apply the advanced uh, rhythmic patterns that you had with level four and level five. So example, simple when there's melody. Oh, and this time there's a long space. So you can do. For long spaces, you do advanced chords and patterns. And again. Yeah, that's the clue now for your melody. And then for our God, you could do. But if you feel like you're going active, you could do. Just follow the chords. And if there's like time or like space, you go. Uh, you go uh, with the advanced chords. G sharp minor, nine, seven, uh, G sharp minor, nine. So whenever, whenever there's no melody, you go with the advanced chords, with the advanced patterns. But if there's the melody, that's for sure you can go simple left hand together with the melody of the right hand, together with the song. But whenever there's free time, we will use your advanced chord patterns and play it the level six way. So yes, that will be all. And then just keep on exploring this one. If you have questions, you can message me on your name, 7play, your name and your instrument. Try to ask me your questions or you could share your demo of or your video of your finished uh, work and I'll comment and then I'll help you out. We will do a lot of things there and we could upgrade as soon as uh, you, you get to practice this one. So again, basic uh, playing on the left hand chord with the melody and when there's no melody, do the advanced chord playing, uh, either level four pattern or level five. Apply those that we learned uh, on the previous uh, patterns that we had on the lower levels. So yes, enjoy your first song. Any questions, message me on Messenger. And as soon as I see your message, I'll be opening and we'll give you the best answer that I could give. And this will be your video. You will use, you will use the YouTube video uh, whenever you find this one. Use this Argod video. Just click on the link on the PDF. And this will be the video that we'll be using to play along. And uh, music will be on the ears this time because we will be playing solo piano. Wow, because level six will be doing solo piano. So I guess that will be all for your first song. Just message me anytime soon. God bless and enjoy your first song.